all your pieces you have around you going into this season? Uh, extremely, extremely excited. Um, you know, the vibe, the work um, these last few weeks has been uh, been really good. Um, you know, it's going to be a, a, a extremely um, you know, interesting season. You know, uh, this summer we met a few times and just hanging out, just getting, just getting to know each other. You know, getting to know each other ins and outs. You know, what you like, what you don't like. Uh, you know, it carries over to the court. So um, that's where we are. Um, the guys have been working all summer. I mean, Eric, since Eric, you know, signed here, he's been here with the you know, training staff and, and the gym. So. Uh, it's going to be fun. You did the players only mini camp last year out in California. You did it again this year uh, in, in Miami. What was twice, twice. What, oh, we did one in Vegas too, I guess, right? What was what was different about this one and how much that stuff will help you going forward? Well, like I said, just to get to know somebody. <laughs> get to know somebody and, and hanging out. Uh, it was really good. You know, just obviously worked out, but we went to dinner. You know, we went to a, a concert. Um, you know, so that's going to carry over. Um, you know, going to the court, you know, Ryan, you know, but guys like that just told me, you know, this is your team, your leader, we're going to follow you. And so that right there gave me confidence to go out there and know that, you know, I got guys following me and uh, I just had to go out there and hold them my end. You use the word vibe, you use the word vibe, Trevor used the word vibe, it's a good vibe. A year ago this time, this team's coming off the Western Conference Finals. Wasn't the vibe there? Okay. What's different about it? I mean, it was, it was, it was, a, it was a lot going on. There was a lot going on. And then, obviously, you know, first you know, few weeks, you know, Mikhail was going. So it was just a lot of distraction, a lot of, lot of, a lot going on last season. And you know, obviously, we got, you know, we got new coaching staff, um, you know, new players. And so, um, you know, I'll, I'll make it a, a point and effort to, to know that, you know, all, everybody's on the same page, you know, whether it's the coaching staff, whether it's the training staff, whether it's the players. And uh, front office as well. You know, we, we, we all have one goal. We all have one mindset, and that's to win. And uh, you know, if you're outcast, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna feel you know, bad about yourself because everybody else is gonna be you know on the same page. James, everybody talks about how. Last year, one at a time. How are you physically? Last year you had a sprained ankle coming into camp. Think you really in conditioning? How are you now? Perfect. Perfect. I've been in the lab all summer. <laughs> What would you consider a successful season for this team? Championship. Is that realistic goal? Realistic. I think we have more than enough, you know, in that locker room um, to win, you know. Um, and, and we're willing and able to compete with anybody on any, any given night. James, a lot of people, everybody has talked about how much you've stepped into this leadership role how much they are looking forward to working with you as a leader. What have you done and how do you look at yourself differently? Talk about the James coming into this season. Honestly, like, uh, last year was frustrating, you know. Um, numbers, you know, for individually was, was you know, pretty solid. But just the love and, and, and the excitement, you know, wasn't wasn't there, you know. And so I had to look in the mirror this summer and, and you know, realize that, you know, I got to change and I got to, you know, I got to, uh, you know, get back to how you know how it was, and, and so um, you know, my focus level, the things that uh, I can control, I have to be a lot better at, and then then once I get myself figured out, then I can help others, and so that was that was one of the main things that I, that I focus on this summer, um, and so that's why I'm in a good place right now. I'm excited, and that's you know why you know, I gathered the guys together to to you know get this thing going. James, you got to do some promotions and add in the offseason. One of them they just head out with the Samsung one, and, and the guy that first hates you, he even like makes fun of you and calls out your defense. Can you hear that? Like, are you okay that he makes the jokes? Like, yeah, how is it? You know, is that good? You can laugh at yourself. Like, yeah, for sure, it? for sure. You know, and, and like I said, it was frustrating last year. It was, wasn't good, um, you know, for me. You know, and so I got to be better, and I will be better. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, that's where we are, and uh, you know. Like I said, I looked in the mirror, I figured out that I got to be better, you know, as a basketball player, as a person, and then uh, it'll be easier for me to leave. Do the critics annoy you a little bit, or do they just, is it just kind of white noise? Just white noise. Because I'm more than capable, and, and I mean, I know I can, I can play defense and, and offense. I can one of the best players in this league. And so, um, 
you know, like I said, last year was just a blur. It was, a, it was just everything was happening so fast, and you know, we all go through it in life. We all have bad you know, days, bad years. I mean, who doesn't? But you know, it's, it's the bounce back you know, that, that makes you stronger. Yeah, yeah there's a sense that your playmaking ability gets overlooked. Do you feel like Antonio will really highlight that in your game this year? Yeah, for sure. That's what, that's what he does. You know, he makes you know, you know really good players, you know, better players. And, you know, he has a formula that has has proven it worked. Um, and then obviously, you know, you know, Coach D'Antoni is our head coach, but our, our assistant coaches are, are extremely, um, you know, they've been in this game for a long time. And, and talking about, you know, Jeff Fizdella, who's who's been, you know, Memphis is a defensive coach uh, and their backbone defensively for the, the, the last, you know, several years. And we all know what, def what, what Memphis did defensively. So, um, you know, we have a really strong core, you know, Coaching staff and and um, you know all we have to do is just listen and go out there and, and hope. Have you talked with Bezdelka all about how they attacked you in Memphis and how other teams? Every day, you? every day, and, and it's different. Like you know, since he's been here, I've been here for the last few weeks training. I mean, just you know, we go over principles, we go over different techniques, we go over you know your footing, uh, just small those small details that can help. You know, and, and that's something that we hadn't do hadn't had uh, the last few years. So. It's those attention to detail things that, that's going to help us. Um, that's why I said the vibe is different, you know. Guys like me still need to be taught. But can he help you offensively? Because yeah, he has sure. he has schemed against you. Yeah, sure. So I hope they have the big games against Memphis next year. <laughs> <laughs> James